Birmingham. Actually, I think that's a perfect position, just in the midfield, getting plenty of touches, getting them plenty of involvement. Uh, and you could see he's, he looks a lot more comfortable in that central role. Blues really dictating it well so far, and Colin in behind has shot and into the box, 2 to aim for in the middle. It ricochets through Vialba! Oh, what a save from Randolph! Fran Vialba, oh so close to a first goal in Royal Blue. And it's a former Blues man that denies him. Super save, Blues corner. Yeah, Blues moving the ball really quickly there. They've exposed already middles with weak point. Um, I think in the studio they talked about um, teams getting crosses in. Down the flanks, they look so vulnerable. And, and early couple of minutes, Blues have almost capitalised. First in the last four half Borough, but Blues certainly the closest so far. And again, finding spaces. Collant with Bellingham on the overlap. Chance for Bellingham to cross. Blues flooding the box, headed away by McNair. As far as Shunyic, Bellingham hugging the near touchline. Rolls it back to the Croatian now. And once more Bellingham, who looks for the box again. And Jimenez got the head on it. And it's a couple of inches wide of Darren Randall's left-hand post. For tonight. Yeah, the work rate's been, been really good so far. I, I mean, Bellingham's won. I think every tackle he's gone in for as well. And I know he's, he's got full of energy, he's willing to impress. Albert towards the head of Roberts, headed down and tipped onto the bar. It would have been an own goal. I think again it was Ayala who got a touch on it in the six yard box. Of course, they need to keep their concentration as well. We saw on Tuesday night a shot out of nowhere can win the game. And uh, Blues will certainly learn the lessons from that have reacted really well so far this evening. Vialba making the run down the left-hand side. Great back heel into the path of Pedersen, who darts into the box, and he almost went across the face if it wasn't for a desperate challenge from Tavernia. And it well, they've managed to get round Brown. It's Collan against Shotton again. The cross took a deflection and again palmed over from Randolph, who was backtracking and didn't want to take any chances. And it's another Blues corner. Looks as if he might have lost that in, in, the, um, in the glare of the the floodlights or something because it looked like a, a relatively easy catch for him he's jumped and then maybe lost sight of it no real is not too much untoward behavior occurring so Vialba will now take the corner it's towards the front post trying to catch out Randolph who's punched it away Jukovic didn't know whether to leave it or not for another corner and he'll keep things going Bellingham Oh, Brown slates it, allows Bellingham the gap to shoot, it was blocked. Now McNair trying to run around the outside of Bellingham, he slips, although Blues fans arguing perhaps he was yeah. trying to dive there, McNair, and he's actually got a free kick, I'm really surprised by that. I mean, obviously we're looking at it from this angle, but it looked like, it looked like he slipped. Bellingham didn't seem close enough to have fouled him, and, and even there didn't seem to be an appeal for a free kick afterwards either. Well, it's two yards, no more, outside the box. And is the referee saying there that if that very minor incident happened a couple of yards further to the left, he would have given a spot kick for that? I don't think so. It would have been very harsh. And it will be very unjust if Borough get the opening goal from this. For a combination of reasons. Blues have been well on top in the opening 25 minutes. But with their first serious bit of defending to do now. As the ball from the right corner of the box is played and Camp is on duty to palm behind for a corner. Checks his uh, run and it goes back for Vialba. Maybe a third man needed to run down that far side but Blue's able to be patient. Shunic here trying to uh, keep the metronome ticking. Now Vialba in the centre circle. An awful lot of room as he surveys the scene. He's got quite a few options and he picks the right one hit of Collan in space on the right. Cuts it back for Yalba again! And he finally does get off the mark for Blues. So close at the start of the match and denied by Randolph. But this time he was the creator and finished the move as well. And Blues with a deserved lead. Yeah, you've, you've said it there. They definitely deserve that. They've dominated for most of his heart, just apart from the last couple of minutes where Middlesbrough have had a little bit more possession. Blues have, have cut them open again, and, and it's down this right flank. Um, Shotton is playing too narrow, offensively and defensively. He's playing like a centre-half, and co covering too much his other centre-half, which is leaving 
oceans of space out here on the right hand side to, to work play and, and get little um, passages of, of play to, to get those crosses in Big boogs for Blues that they're able to dictate a game like they have done so far tonight and get the goals as well. Lovely play. Shunyic finding Pedersen on the left. Cuts it back. It'll find its way to Jukovic who volleyed it. It was deflected. Roberts. He does so. It's a floated one in. Pedersen with the head on it. And again, third time in the match, Randolph's just had to delicately flick it over with his fingertips. Been well on top in the first 45 minutes and probably the best 45 minutes performance of the season so far. Roberts into the box, Dean flying in there, it's headed away again by a red shirt. Blues trying to recover it and they've got men over on the near side. Crowley had his back to them though and Blues will move it towards the left instead. The Albert coming forward and looking to rake it high towards Dean who's free at the back post and his header was a oh bit wayward, has that gone in? The referee looks at his uh, goal on technology watch and it doesn't, but Randolph there nearly with the butter on his gloves. That ball slipping through. It's good to see Pedersen venturing forward on numerous occasions as well. Blues will look now towards the right. Crowley inside right. Looks on the overlap for Collan, who assisted the opening goal for Blues. Can he create another hit? Putting it in, it did take a deflection. Jimenez back to goal. It's not Bellingham! Deflects and wide! Great play again, but again, pointing at um, this this right side for Blues, all play is coming down here, that's where they're getting all these chances. If you're watching, um, Middlesbrough's left back come flying out into midfield and just leaves this, this flank open all the time. Bellingham's just um, capitalised on the... Blues trying to bang in a second while Borough are down. Bellingham gets his head on it. Pedersen off the bar and it's away. And Borough again have got away with it. <laughs> Cleared out for another throw. But it's been a really good performance so far. It's, and they've started off the second half st still dominating possession. Still trying to work those little bits of... Um, of link up play to, to get the crosses and shots on really positive stuff stuff from Blues can Blues score from one of them handed away by a Somba Longa Shunic will try and head it back up in there it's more uh, up than forwards though Borough again struggling to make anything of it and Vialba now amazing his way towards the box lovely layoff from Bellingham on the left hand side for Dean checks back Dean across the face and Borough without doing too much have just got bodies in the way and got the ball out. Pedersen sending it back in there. Decent looking one for Jukovic, who heads it down and out for a goal kick. But Borough looks so confused in their own 18 yard box, and it's just luck that's stopping them from conceding another. Yeah, the, you know what? They're, they're set up um, the right way. They're, they're p playing in the positions they're supposed to be in, but there's no fight, there's no drive from them. And then you wanted a midfielder in there just to help sort of um, recycle it across the pitch. There was no movement from midfielders to, to receive or to try and get turned or to even bounce it, bounce it off. Oh, great first touch from Jukovic, takes him inside, possibly with a shooting chance here. Instead gives it to Vialba, Vialba for his second, he got the angle wrong. Tried to bend it into the far corner but didn't get enough whip on it. And that was very selfless from Jukovic because it opened up for an opportunity for himself there. He's a good, really good hold-up play, he's brought it down, turn took a couple of strides and then rolled the ball. Like you said, Valapa was in a better position, but Jukovic could have quite easily taken a shot on, off of himself. Apart from a pretty dodgy free kick that was given in the first half and uh, Kemp was able to save it. Bellingham battling well in the centre. Oh, he's got through a maze of three or four red shirts. Bit of fortune at the end of it, but he holds on to possession before trying to release Christian Pedersen. Lewis Swing and Ashley Fletcher. As that ball's played down the far side, shot and facing uh, his own byline, just tries to square it inside, and Jukovic is there first. Blues are getting players quickly towards the penalty area. Jukovic digs it out, well wide of goal, but it will be via a deflection, and it will be yet another Blues corner. Yeah, it's a bit strange, that. Right? Saying that, Brown hasn't had much of an impact, but you could see how quick he was, and, and, and that always will create chances if the right ball comes in. Oh, great long kick play. Crowley and Collan. Collan into the box. Caught up by Tavernier, but still managed to squeeze it in. And then it ricochets back for Crowley. 
Was he taken out there as he volleyed that over? The referee says no. Housen free to put the ball in there. And it's headed away by Pedersen. How important an interception was that? Cleared up by Vialba. It's a one-on-one -on -one between Jimenez and Dykesteel. And Jimenez picks the Dutchman's pocket. Needs support now and is wrestled down. And that will be a yellow card for the Borough fullback. And that was the sort of hold-up play we come to expect from Lukas Jukovic. But Alvaro Jimenez there almost shadowing his strike partner with that play. Shunic, great tackle from behind. Leaves the Samba longer in a heap. And down the other end comes Collant, up against Schotten. You can see both sets of players tiring a wee bit, but that leaves spaces. Crowley in one now, in towards Djukovic, and he got the header wrong, and it's straight at Randolph. Oh, he's just mistimed it. It's come off his shoulder or something there. It's a great position from him. Yeah, I don't know, definitely waiting for, oh, for that change. Fletcher, right side of the box, has Dyke still on the overlap. Back for Fletcher again, faces up the Albert. McNair making the third man run. It loops into the middle, palmed away by Camp. How important was that? And more applause now for Jude Bellingham. Standing ovation for him, and rightly so. Important night for him tonight. It is his third start for Blues, but being put in the centre of midfield, he has been so responsible, been on the front foot, and deserves every bit of praise he gets. And Jack Magoma coming on now for Vialba who gets his first Blues goal tonight will it be the match winner we'll wait and see but his contribution over the course of these 75 minutes very important indeed Dealey yeah another player who's made a like you know a, a lively um, appearance he, he's, he's done really really well he's been comfortable on the ball created creating chances again and, and of course got his goal T and took that really really well as well he switches it towards the far side. Blues have to make sure they're not too exposed here. Asomba longer turns, 25 yards out. Good tackle from Shunic. Won the ball. He's been excellent tonight, Ivan Shunic. Stand up to, to someone similar in midfield, but um, it's timing and, and, and that, that toe. He's just gone in there, hooked his ball around it and come away with the ball. Oh, great touch from Collant to get around the inside of Shotton. And he's into the box, Collant. Two in the middle, oh, it's cleared away as far as Magoma gets it out of his feet. Maybe blocked by Collan. Now Gardner, off the post and away to the far side. Can Blues hammer it in now? Jukovic heading it down and out for a goal kick. Oh, it's comedy of errors from it. You know what, it, it, it's, it's one of those nights. About three or four chances there, don't know which one to even start with. Collins done so well to, to get away from his mark and then rolled it across the six-yard box where like there's about three attempts to, to put the ball in the back of the net. Magoma, Gardner. Well, a Ferdy Dyke still is off. Lukas Jukovic replaced now by Odin Bailey. Another hard slog for him tonight, but he's led the line tremendously alongside Alvaro Jimenez. And you see that partnership really building on its early foundations. Yeah, the, the goals haven't come yet, but the, the two of them have um, really worked hard. You know, Jimenez takes a little bit of the pressure off Djukovic to be that batter and ram and that, that target man that, that he is. In the uh, remaining seven minutes of the game, and Bailey getting an imprint on the ball. Gardner playing it down towards the Blues youngster on the near side now. Housen covers these tracks though. And uh, Borough trying to play out the way from the back and Magoma's read it and gets it to Bailey, does he? Just in front of him, away by wing, as far as Shunic. Will he have a crack wide? It had Randolph sprawling to his right. Ivan Shunic within a whisker. Yeah, he's got the taste of it after his strike the other day. Um, good, similar position. Hit, caught it really well, just fizzed past, past that near post. Gusted with the flick on, Roberts heading it to the far side, Colin ahead of Fletcher. Have to give credit to Dan Crowley tonight, he's going to complete 90 minutes. But a free kick, pumped high into the box, headed by Dean, up by Shunyic, it's alive in the box now, it's uh, Fry and Dean battling for it. 
Dean there turned and he's faced up by two players. One of them, Asan Malonga dinks it in and Borough have scored. And it's probably the most unjustified equaliser you will see in the Championship this season. Blues have bossed from minute one and it's somehow scrambled home. Asan Malonga not the scorer this time, but he provides it. Blues one, Borough one. Sickner. Well, now Blues trying to come down the other end and get what is... Uh, a deserved winner, but it shouldn't really have come to this. Magoma coming towards the box. Now Bailey, can he square it for Crowley? On for Jimenez on the angle, saved by Randolph and out for a corner. Another, another inspired move again. Like uh, Magoma just drove down the flank again, played in for Crowley. Found Jimenez on the back post. And, yeah, he's hit the keeper. I mean, he was a good strike. He's done everything he could there, but just couldn't find the finish. The things Birmingham City do to your blood pressure. As Crowley puts in the corner. Oh, keeper came, didn't get there. It's still loose. Randolph playing volleyball at the moment as he punches it out towards the near side. Now won by Pedersen into the middle, out as far as Shunic towards the right. And Crowley has got to go in the middle, really. He wants to get a yard on a somber longer. I don't think he's going to manage. Bends it in. Bailey! Oh, would you believe this? Odin Bailey, the 19-year-old, has won it for Blues in his deserve, but no one expected it to come in this fashion. And from that source, the substitute with the moment of his life. And it's Blues 2, Borough 1, and surely the winner now. What an amazing last five minutes. I mean, you could, you could see what was going to happen in terms of uh, Middlesbrough of up their game and, and got the equaliser and even though it, it wasn't totally expected you could see it happening but then for Blues to go down the other end swing in a couple of crosses and Bailey come up with the winning goal there it is amazing who looks to tee this up high towards the edge of the Blues box headed by Gardner Dean putting everything on the line to get a piece on that as well and Blues have managed to win it Dominator from start to finish, but it's Birmingham City and it was still tight towards the end and it took a 90th minute winner.